Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, then welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by and make sure that you subscribe before you leave. So today's video is really exciting because if you have not seen my last vlog, which you should watch it up there, um, I went tack shopping, however I didn't get any of the items that I had wanted to get. So I went on to my favorite store, Irvine's website, and I picked out some items and I got everything that I wanted to and even something extra. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. So we have our nice bag. I have not opened it yet. You can see it says Irvine's. <laughs> so this is a tax store in Alberta and if you do live in like southern Alberta, I would really recommend going to this store. It is honestly life-changing, kind of. Definitely my favorite store. It's so big, has everything you could imagine. I'm just gonna open up my little knife here so I can open this bag without breaking anything, hopefully. <laughs> okay. So, what do I wanna start with? <laughs> I'm going to start with the smallest item that I got. So I got this chin strap, curb strap, whatever you want to call it. It just goes on your bit. So I use only snaffles. So in my instance, this would just be to keep the snaffle from one, um, I guess, just kind of ripping out of the horse's mouth. I mean, you shouldn't be pulling that hard anyways. But this just kind of keeps the bit where it's supposed to be, keeps it from, I know, I don't know if you know how a snaffle kind of the side like is, you know, perpendicular, is that the word? I don't know, it goes against like their face, I guess. And so this kind of just keeps it from getting pulled away from the face. I'm sure you probably know what a chin strap is, but this is Weaver. And the reason why I picked this one is because I absolutely love these little buckles super cute i love the detailing the tooling is just so pretty so i'm really excited to put this on the bit so moving on let's check out the bit that i got oh by the way all of these items do happen to be weaver brand every single one i don't it, like i didn't purposely do that but i mean they are a great brand and everything like these were just the items that stuck out to me on the website that i really liked so yeah definitely go check out their stuff because i've never been disappointed and all of these things i'm sure are going to live up to my expectations so for the bit that i got for my gelding all of this stuff is for nintendo if you don't know who that is then maybe watch some of my other videos so this is the bit i got for him it's just kind of a basic d-ring copper snaffle with a little dog bone type thing in the middle and I really like using these bits on basically every horse. It's, I mean, it the mouthpiece can change depending on the horse. Like, some horses don't like as much movement. Maybe need, like, a mullen type bit, which is just, like, a straight across with no bend. Some, like, one joint, you know, and some, like, even more bend than this. So... You just it just depends on the horse but this feels like a really good quality bit i like how you know some bits can be really thin this is not this feels very good quality and heavy duty so i'm really excited to use this on nintendo and then i also got some split reins so i use split reins on every horse that i ride at home obviously if you're barrel racing if you're actually at a race you probably don't want to use split reins but and again like this feels just such good quality leather it's already so like broken in it feels like you know how sometimes you have to break in leather but this feels really soft and i'm really impressed and you can never have too many pairs of good split reins i don't think <laughs> so i'm really excited to have these one more thing I'm going to show you. I didn't really plan to get these, but I also grabbed him just some polos. So these are just basic gray. I needed some more boy colors because I've been running a mare for so long. I need some boy colors for my gelding, apparently. So I got those. And again, like Weaver makes great leg protection. 
items and I'm really excited to use those. So another thing I'll show you is not from this particular shopping trip. This was actually when I went to Irvine's the store. I got this head stall. So if you have not watched my other Irvine's video, definitely go and do that. I will put it up top. And I got this Zen. So this is the, the head stall that I'll be putting all this stuff onto. And I'm actually just going to do that right now because it might be, I don't know, maybe it'll be interesting to see it all together, right? <laughs> So here we have the bit on the head stall. So if you want to see how the chin strap goes on, I can do that as well. So for setting up a bridle, I'll say a couple little tips. Make sure that your bit is on the right way. So usually um, it's a lot easier to tell actually if there's a single joint because it'll close a lot more. Um, but you can just see like how the the bit is built. It will usually be more like bulky on the outside and more smooth on the inside. This one's not a good example because it's actually almost the same all the way around. So I mean, you kind of have to just just pay attention, but. And then for attaching your chin strap, you want to put it underneath where your reins are because this is not a curb bit and this does not have any reason to be moving around when you move your reins. So if you were to put your rein underneath your chin strap, we'll see how if this, if the chin strap was the rein and the rein was the chin strap and you pulled your reins, this would pull the chin strap up. There's no reason to do that because this is a snaffle. It's not working with a shank. So there's no reason that you would have to do that. And then <clears throat> this is super simple head stall. It's one ear and I just prefer the look of them. There's no real benefit. In fact, like a one ear can be sketchy because it has less holding it onto the horse. However, I've Never had a head stall fall off, so as long as you fit it correctly, I don't think that's an issue. And then always the ties go to the outside, so you can adjust them. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory, I think. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Another thing I'll say is the only reason I bought all of these things is just because when I go to Alberta, new place, I will be riding my horse Nintendo a lot and I've never really ridden him a whole lot so he doesn't have his own bridle set up and so I wanted to make sure that he had all of that ready when I do go to see him. So that's pretty much it. Um, I know this video was a little bit shorter than normal but I just wanted to show you guys that stuff and the kind of things that I buy when I do buy things for my horses. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, like if you liked this video, leave me a comment if there's anything you would like me to see and I will see you guys next time. Bye.